Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this tutorial, we're gonna continue our VR adventure. I'm gonna create a particle effect to spawn based off us throwing that paper into the trash can. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here I am in Unity. So what I wanna do is I want to take a piece of wadded up paper and I wanna be able to throw it in the trash can and then have a particle effect play. So I've gone ahead and created a piece of paper. So in this paper ball, I just created a cube with Pro Builder. I subdivided it, and then I just deformed the shape so that it has that paper feel. So in this piece of paper, I do need to go ahead and do a little bit of VR setup. So one is we need to add a grab component, XR grab interactable component. And with that, it adds a rigid body. And we definitely wanna be able to use gravity. Currently, I'm just gonna leave it as a mass of one, but if you wanna have a lighter weight as a piece of paper would, you would go ahead and make that number smaller. But I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it for now. So with that being done, we also wanna go ahead and in the XR Grab Interactable, we want to also smooth position and smooth rotation. Okay, so now we have our XR Grab Interact component set up. The next thing we need to do is to go both to our left hand and our right hand controller. Now with those controllers, currently, if we were to pick up this object, we would both see the wad of paper and the hand and they'll be in the same position. So what I'm gonna do instead of having the hand there, I'm just gonna hide the hand and just show the paper. So for us to be able to do that with both our controllers selected, what we can do is we can go to hide controller on select. So this option right here, what we're gonna do is to go ahead and check that. All right, now that we have that done, that's going to allow us to be able to pick the game object up and then hide our hand and just show the paper. The next thing we need to do is to go to our trigger. So I've created a cylinder in ProBuilder to fit on the top of this trash can. Once we hit this, I wanna be able to show a particle effect. So currently I have the cylinder with the mesh renderer on, but we don't need to see the mesh renderer because we just wanna use the cylinder as a trigger. All I need to do is just to turn off the mesh render and now the player's not gonna see it, but we'll still have the mesh collider Select it. The other thing I want to make sure is that I've chosen convex and is trigger. So we need to make sure we have trigger selected. Now, the other thing I'm going to do here is I want to tag this. So let's go ahead and create a new tag. Let's go ahead and add tag. And I'm going to add a new tag called trash can. Let's go ahead and add that. And then I'm going to go back to my trash can trigger. And then we need to add that tag to that game object. So trash can. Now that we have that set up, we can actually start creating some cool magic. Inside of my trash can, I have a particle system. So in this particle system, I have one particle system that plays particles popping up and I have gravity attached to those. So you can see I play on awake, gravity modifier as one. So those particles are created and then they're gonna fall back down. And then I have the emission set to 100. You can increase this or decrease this as you need. And then I have the shape, a cone coming out of the top of the can. So if I play it, boom, you can see those particles coming up. The other thing that I have on this is a secondary particle system. So inside of this particle system, I have another particle system. So in this particle system, it's a little bit different. I'm using a material that I created, and with that material, it's the number one. So I have a plus one as the material that plays. So if we play this, if we look at what I have set up, Instead of emission as being a rate over time, doing a burst mode of one, which is just gonna play one of those number ones and then that's it. So if we look at these together, boom, there we go. We now have that to give us some great feedback for the user. Currently right now, nothing's gonna happen. We need to add some logic to our paper. So in this case, I'm gonna add a new Playmaker FSM. And in this case, we are going to detect trigger. And then what is it we want to do? So we want to detect that can trigger. So we're going to do add an action. And in this case, we're going to do a trigger event. 
And for us to be able to have a trigger event, one of those game objects have a rigid body. The paper does on the owner. When that owner has entered a trigger of trash can, then we want to send a new event. So let's go ahead and start particles. So we're gonna add that transition. We're gonna go off to a new state. So I'm just gonna hold down the control key, drag off, let go, and I now have a new state. And now in this new state, let's go ahead and give it a name real quick. And we're gonna call play particles. So there's a couple things that we wanna do here. One is we want to turn that particle system on. So if we go back to our particle system real quick. So inside of my trash can, my particle system, we have the option of play on awake. So we initially want this game object to be turned off. So let's go ahead and turn that off. We're going to go back to our Playmaker FSM. So all we need to do is just to activate this game object, then it's going to play that particle system. So all I need to do is just to drag my particle system into my state. And we're going to do a game object, activate game object, activate. We want to make sure that's checked. And then when that activates, it's going to play that particle effect. The other thing that we want to do is to go ahead and destroy this paper ball because we don't want it to be there. We want it to have disappeared into the can. We're going to go to Action Browser and then Destroy. We can destroy self. So because this Playmaker FSM is attached to this game object, we can destroy self. And we're going to make sure we do that after we activate the game object. So we're going to destroy self. And so that's just going to destroy our paper ball. So let's go ahead and give this a test to see if it works. So there is my paper ball. And I'm going to move just a little bit closer. There's my paper ball. And I throw it. Boom, there we go. So now we have a cool particle effect when we throw our trash in the trash can. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial is something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.